Let's just say you have a brand new off-road vehicle budget of around $60,000. I know it's a lot of money, but for 60K, you can buy this, a brand new Ford Bronco Wildtrak Sasquatch package, or you can get this, a Ford F-150 Tremor. In this video, I wanna show you features, the coolest stuff on both of these, so you can decide for yourself which off-roader is best for you. So let's go do this. You may have seen our first edition Sasquatch Bronco on our channel, but this is something a little bit different. This is the Wild Track, and I think this model of the Bronco doesn't get enough talk and enough press. Um, it's a little bit difficult to understand, but here's basically what it is. It's a current member of the Bronco lineup, which is meant for a little bit faster off-road running. And the Sasquatch package that you see on it gives it 35 inch tall tires. And of course, it has a four wheel drive system that I'll show you in a second. Uh, but this is kind of a little bit more sporty Bronco. You can have it as a four door um, or a two door. And in this red color, I think it looks quite special. And the Tremor is a brand new addition to the Ford F-150 lineup. And I'm really happy that Ford is doing this because it slots above the FX4 off-road package for the F-150. And it's below the Ford Raptor F-150 in terms of capability and features and options. But I think it's just right. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. It is riding on 33 inch tall tires, not 35s like the Bronco. And there are different tires. These are general grabber all-terrains versus Goodyear Wrangler Territory MTs. So let's get under the hood and see what you have there. This is one unique element for the Wild Track version of the Bronco. It says decal. Yes, it looks pretty cool, but also a little bit more functional because it cuts the glare off of the hood, helps it kind of faster running off-road. Um, under the hood here is a 2.7 liter twin turbocharged V6 EcoBoost engine. And if you're using premium fuel, and since this is more of a faster speed Bronco, uh, I think you would and you should, uh, you get 330 horsepower and 415 pound feet of torque, which is pretty good power for uh, this four door SUV. It's also, this engine is made it to a 10 speed automatic and um, it has a really sophisticated four-wheel drive system that I'll show you in a second. Before I do that, let's look under the hood of the Ford F-150. The F-150 Tremor also has a unique hood, uh, only for this model of the F-150. Uh, it's got the bulge here, and it's got these louvers on the sides, and they're, you can kind of see how they mount right here on the inside. Um, this engine, currently the F-150 Tremor is only available with one power plant. It's a 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost engine that's available in other F-150 trucks. 400 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque is the rating on premium fuel. Um, also a 10-speed automatic transmission and also, of course, a four-wheel drive transfer case system. This truck is bit heavier than the Bronco. It has more power, more torque. I cannot show you a drag race right now <laughs> uh, here on the snowy uh, area here, but they might be fairly close um, to speed together. That's for another video. Okay, let's fire up the Bronco so I can show you a lot of the four wheel drive features. First of all, it has a unique gauge cluster. You have a digital display right here and a speedometer and of course your coolant gauge over here. This is reconfigurable. It has many drive modes. So let me just show you some of them. There's normal, eco, sport. That's important. And it also shifts you automatically into four wheel drive automatic mode. Then you have slippery, mud and ruts, sand, and Baja. Yes, so it does have all those modes. And um, also, yes, now in the, it's in four high and it shows you the off-road um, screens right there. So you can kind of tell your steering angle, your angle of attack and everything else. And also it has a very cool feature. Let me show you up here. 
you will not find some of these buttons in the F-150 truck. First of all, rear locker, you can find that in the F-150, but also front locker here. Um, it's only available in certain drive modes. Also, rear turn assist. This Bronco can drag its rear tire and um, help you make a tighter turn. It kind of is helpful on snowy conditions as well. This does not have a sway bar disconnect. So if you wanted that, you could probably go for a Badlands edition um, or another edition of the Bronco. Uh, this wild track is ma mainly meant for speed, desert running, etc. This Bronco is also available with one pedal driving and trail control system. Basically, trail control is cruise control for off-roading. One pedal driving is a system where you don't have to use the brake. As soon as you let off the gas, um, it'll start to apply the brakes for you. It has the camera system, as you can tell. There are many different views. And cool, I can even use it with my gloves. So yeah, it has all the proper four-wheel drive system. It has a really good crawl ratio. The transfer case uh, for low ratio is 3.06 to 1. And the first gear is like 4.71 to 1. So at the very end, it has really good crawl ratio. And um, this is what you want, I think, for a variety of different off-road conditions, not just fast riding, but it will also do some slow speed, uh, tough off-roading. Another part of the wild track setup is uh, some of the interior accents and color combinations. You can kind of see some of the blue uh, accents coming in on the vent system here on the grab handle as well and also the overall interior color combination as far as combination of these colors of course you could change that you can get another version of the bronco uh, you can get a big band a badlands outer banks uh, but um, i think wild track is not doesn't get a lot of press and i think it should which is why i'm doing this video all right, let's take a look inside the F-150 Tremor. So first of all, I told you the budget was about 60 grand. Uh, the truck you see here uh, is above that in price, but still, nonetheless, we can still talk about the F-150 Tremor for around 60 because this truck starts at around 55-ish. Um, actually lower than that, about 52, but with some options that I'll tell you in a second, uh, you can get it to basically the same price as $58,000 Bronco wild track sasquatch so let's start it up because this is more of a premium setup here inside the f-150 tremor you do have a digital gauge cluster but if you didn't you could still get a, a, a smaller digital screen in here with traditional gauges as well here in the center you get basically the same 12 inch diagonal infotainment screen as you saw in the bronco and the same sync system uh, with a lot of nice features like wireless apple carplay and Android Auto available as well. But let's take a look at the four-wheel drive system. The F-150 has also several different four-wheel drive modes and just drive modes in general, in including a special tow haul mode. And of course, as you were just seeing, as soon as you change the different modes, it will start to also adjust the four-wheel drive system. For example, 4A just came on. Um, and then if I keep going, uh, this truck has a unique feature. Um, it has rock crawl mode as well, uh, which requires four low and it just modifies your traction control system. It enables your locker. Um, it changes your traction control system, etc. It changes the whole color of the screen. Um, also shows you the front camera here in the center infotainment screen. This front camera now has it has your front steering tracking to kind of show you where you're about to go. Uh, and this truck does not have a front locker or a disconnectable front sway bar, but it does have one pedal driving and trail control system using this button right here. It works in a very similar fashion to uh, how the system in the Bronco actually works. Um, and it also has the trail turn assist function where it drags a wheel uh, let me show you that trail turn assist 
is right here. So there is not actually a hard button for this. There is a, this software button for that feature, but still pretty easy to find under features. So here's the mode layout on the F-150 Tremor. There is normal. Of course there is, let's go this way first. There is the tow haul mode. There's eco mode, there's sport mode. So some of these are similar in theory to the Bronco, except the tow haul mode that this truck is uh, specifically for towing. A deep snow and sand, um, and also rock crawl, like I was showing you before. So yes, many different modes are available here as well. Uh, you knew I was gonna do this. Uh, payload and towing are important, so how do they compare? Well, this Sasquatch Wildtrak Bronco has 1,155 pounds of payload, which is decent for an SUV, and uh, the one that's really off-road capable. Let's take a look at the hitch really quick, because it does tow up to 3,500 pounds. We have towed with a Sasquatch Bronco before. Like I said, about 3,500 pounds is the maximum capacity on the Bronco. It does have uh, wiring pre-set up. Everything is great, um, and even four pin connector. But a couple of issues. First of all, when backing up, take a look at this. The rear camera actually does not see the hitch because it's looking down this way past the tire. So hooking up a trailer is not ideal. So really the Bronco is not for towing. Yes, you can bring an off-road trailer with you, uh, but it's not truly a towing vehicle. And here's a truck, even with many, many options, uh, payload is excellent, 1,549 pounds. And yeah, a lot of towing, let me show you. After all, this is an F-150, so the hitch is really easy to get to, although these chain hoops, like I've said before, are a little bit hidden below. Um, you have your connector, seven pin. The camera is very easy to look at the hitch with. You can see it down here. Uh, it will tow upwards of 10,000 pounds, depending on different configurations. So if you need to tow and also go off-road, uh, this is it. So the answer, which one is best for you, is the Bronco or an F-150 Tremor, really depends on what you prefer to be doing. If you are thinking about doing some off-road trails, including fast trails in the desert, maybe in the wide open country, uh, even in the snow, uh, the Bronco offers better clearances, better approach angles, uh, a lot of protection underneath, a really great off-road system, four-wheel drive, including the front locker in this case. So, an open top experience, you can remove the doors, you can remove the top, and really enjoy the outdoors in a really, really fun and unique way. Not very many vehicles that can do this. Yes, there's a Jeep Wrangler as well, but the F-150 is kind of a do-everything truck. It has really great off-road capability. Uh, the clearances are not as good, maybe, some approach angles, departure angles, etc., as the Bronco, but it has really good payload and towing capability. You can bring a large trailer, set up your base camp, and also use your F-150 Tremor to do some trails. Maybe not as hard of a trail as you can do with the Bronco, but nonetheless, uh, a very, very uh, capable vehicle. If it was my money, I think you know which way I'm leaning. I'm leaning more truck, because I have some heavier trailers to move, and the Bronco is not really a towing machine. So I would lean towards the F-150 Tremor, but let me know in the comments below which vehicle would you prefer. And as always, check us out at tfl-studios.com, tfloffroad.com, and tfltruck.com for all of the real-world reviews.